Hey everyone, this is Alea. I'm with the studio at Kearney Point. And today is our very first episode to our podcast. And I'm super excited because we have a special guest. And his name is David Schoner of the New Jersey Film Commission. All right. So David, just tell us a little bit about yourself. Wow, a little bit about myself. I know, it's a lot. I know, I know, I know. But just a little bit if you want to give us a little. Absolutely. So I'm the Associate Director of the New Jersey State Film Commission, mm -hmm. and we uh, coordinate all the filmmaking, TV, industrials, anything that's filming in New Jersey, mm -hmm. still photography, we're the coordinators of it. We don't regulate it or permit it, but we're like the go-between, the economic development people mm -hmm. that make things happen. Absolutely. And see, I had a chance to witness that. I was uh, one of the interns uh, back in 2017. Yes, was you my were. senior year in college. Yeah. So thank you for the opportunity. And she was great too. Oh, I, I made him <laughs> say that, guys. <laughs> no, absolutely. So it was wonderful interning with you, David. All right. So I have a the next question that I want to ask you is, what has been your favorite moments in your career so far? Wow, you know, my favorite moments, it's really an interesting dynamic when you think about that because I've actually been at the state film office for 38 years. Right. So we're talking a pretty long time. So two of my favorite moments probably was something recently that we worked on. It was West Side Story with Steven Spielberg. Yes, and yes. So, and so, you know, it's Spielberg. Yeah, and, and, absolutely. And so the mayor of Patterson, Andre Say, is a fantastic guy, and he mm -hmm. hosted a little meet and greet, wanted to give the uh, Mr. Spielberg a key to the city. Right. And so they had a little meet and greet we were coming in. In, and as Steven Spielberg was walking around the room mm -hmm. saying hello to everyone, he stopped at me and and said, you know, I love the mustache. <laughs> <laughs> and, yes. he, and, and he also said, I, you know, you probably don't know this guy, uh, but you look like Raleigh Fingers, which is a very wow. famous baseball player. Yes. And I told Steven I'm a lot older than he thinks, and I know who Raleigh Fingers is. So wow. that, that was probably one of my, you know, one of my favorite moments in, in working in this business. Nice. Okay, I like that. I like that story. <laughs> yes, very unique. Uh, my next question for you is, what would you say uh, about the current state of production work in New Jersey right now. So the current state of production work in New Jersey right now is yeah. we are booming. Yeah. We are booming with a big B, a yeah. big O, another O, another M, <laughs> go right down the line. It's really uh, fantastic. And it's all because Governor Murphy yep. uh, passed a film and TV tax incentive. Mm -hmm. And the film business works and TV business works on having an incentive. Exactly. And so we are booming. The opportunities for New Jerseyans right now to stay in the state and work in the state mm -hmm. is phenomenal. There is a lot of choices. Absolutely. And you know, another thing, I witnessed that firsthand, and I'm super excited just to know that, but just to actually see, you know, all of the filming taking place, you know, in the, the original, you know, Hollywood, you know, New Jersey is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm just super excited just to see all of the work being done here. And I actually got another email for something else coming up um, pretty soon as far as, um, you know, film is concerned. But I'm just super excited for everything. So. You, you know, the great thing is, is that New Jersey was the birthplace of filmmaking, yep. and we've actually brought it back home now. Mm -hmm. And the wonderful thing about, obviously, our, our office is about jobs and mm -hmm. about creating image benefits for the states. So what we want to do, and what I love about having this, is giving New Jerseyans opportunities to work in different areas that they want to work in. Absolutely. You don't have to go over to another state to make it work if you don't want to. Right. And so that's one of the more exciting things that are happening. Absolutely, because I know before it was New York. New York, mm -hmm. New York, New York. And there's nothing wrong with New York. That's right. But just being in your actual hometown, if you're from New Jersey, is the best right now. And yeah, and, and, and you get the opportunity to go home at night and have dinner with your family. Exactly. Yes. Because I know those late uh, nights <laughs> working on set man so absolutely <laughs> thank you thank you so i just have one more question sure you. sure and this last question is more directed towards you uh because i wanted to kind of switch it up a little bit mm -hmm. but if you had to talk to your younger self right whatever age that is yes you know because i know you're like 21 so yeah. <laughs> you know whatever age you want to pick yes uh, yes what advice would you give your younger david so my younger david I, I you know i've thought about this and so my younger david i would say is that i should get involved or should have got involved in film even earlier okay. so when i went to college i went to a new jersey city university which used to be called jersey city state mm -hmm. and during the summers i was working in a supermarket Mm -hmm. as to make money and because mm -hmm. you, you have to live and in hindsight I should have been PAing during those summers I should have been immersing myself in the industry I wanted to be in right. and so that's the advice I give even young people today and I would give my younger self is that work but work in the field you eventually want to be in I because it's it. going to start you earlier in all those connections that you need to make absolutely there you go and that goes into my next question actually 
um, because when you just said that, I didn't want to forget this piece is, you know, the advice that you would give to any newcomers, you know, coming into the entertainment industry. But you answer that perfectly, you know, (laughs) just start early. I love it. Yeah. And also the great thing about what's going on in New Jersey right now is that you don't have to be the director, the producer, the writer. You can be the camera uh, operator doing that field. You want to be a costumer. You want to be a caterer because maybe you have a passion for food. Maybe you have a passion for shopping. All those jobs exist in the film world. You love the shop. You can be the costume designer or the costume, you know, person that builds the outfits. Mm-hmm. And if you're a caterer, you can cook for uh, cook for the films. Oh yeah, <laughs> a, a hungry crew is not the best crew. No. <laughs> but the best food that you can have for a crew, oh my God, they'll love you forever. They so, will, and yeah. it's important because they work really hard and do a lot of a lot of long hours, and you want to make sure that you feed them well. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, David. <laughs> Thanks for having me. For coming in today and, you know, talking to us about the wonderful things that's happening right now in the state of New Jersey. So, uh, yeah, hope to see you again soon here. You will. This woman is an amazing young lady. Let me tell you <laughs> oh, something. So thank, thank you very you. much for inviting me. Absolutely, David. All righty. Okay.